Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I want to share with you the quickest, easiest Dollar Tree DIY to make napkin rings for your fall table. Now you can do this with any season, but you can make six napkin rings with these silver plastic napkin rings as your base, a little ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and some flowers. Now the reason I say this could cost you less than $3 is because this is one. You get six sunflowers on one stem from the Dollar Tree and you need some ribbon and you won't use the whole spool. I'm gonna show you how to put this together and if you enjoy this DIY, go ahead and subscribe so that you know next time when I upload a video, you'll be notified. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so basically you're gonna make six napkin rings. Now you can make them any way that you want, but they do come in a package of six. And then you need one stem of sunflowers. Now you don't have to use the sunflowers on the stem. You can use whichever flowers you want. But one thing that you do wanna do is remove this, this part, this stem, from your sunflower for all of them. So I'm just gonna show you here. Just get some wire cutters, which they do have at the Dollar Tree if you don't have any. And then you're going to make sure you remove that for all of your flowers. And then I'm going to put my glue, my uh, leaves onto the back of each flower. So I'm gonna do that real quickly and then we're gonna go over how to put them together. Okay, so once you have all your sunflowers cut, um, set them aside, and now we're going to work on our napkin ring. Okay, so whichever ribbon you chose, you're, this is so easy. You're just basically going to take your ribbon and you're going to glue it to your napkin ring. That's it, I mean, it's just that simple. And you can make it festive, you can add more decorations, you can do whatever you would like. So basically, um, this is wired ribbon that I had on hand. You can buy any ribbon that you like. Dollar Tree has a lot of it, and the reason that I'm sharing this right now is because Dollar Tree is selling a lot of their fall items out. So just letting you know. So you wanna measure your uh, ribbon around your napkin ring to see how long you want it to be. And I'm gonna use this ribbon, and I want to fold it under so that I have a nice edge uh, for my, like a hem. So I'm gonna measure around, and then I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch longer, or half an inch, and I'm gonna cut it. So here is my uh, ribbon. I'm gonna take it, and I'm going to fold this over. This is wired ribbon, so you can see that it folds real nicely. I'm gonna put a little of hot glue in here just to seal it down, and it is hot. So if you are working with children, this is a great craft for them, but make sure you are not using hot glue. All right, uh, we're letting them use hot glue. Okay, so put a little glue on your napkin ring. Oop. And hold it down. Super simple. It is gonna be a little bit more uh, over the edge. This is one and a half inch ribbon, so it's okay with me if it's over just a tad. Now, I'm gonna wrap it around. I really don't have to glue it, but I'm going to put some glue along the way so that it stays really well and doesn't come off. You could always remove these for each season or you can splurge and purchase another set of six for each season. So I'm gonna take my ribbon and fold it again another little quarter of an inch. I'm going to put some glue in there to hold it and seal the edge and push it down. And then I'm going to glue that down. This is super fast, super quick, and you can make it any way you want to. But I'm just talking inexpensive and pretty. All right, so that's my first napkin ring, so you can see that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my flower and I'm going to glue it on. Now you do wanna make sure that that is completely flat. 
So make sure that you get that off. You want it as flat as possible. Then you're going to put a good amount of glue on because you don't want every time you take a napkin in and out for, for it to move. All right, and don't burn your fingers. Now hold your sunflower on there pretty tightly and let the glue set. Now if you want to glue down your leaves, you can certainly do that. You can add anything that you want. You could even use just some of the leaves from uh, the packages of 50 that you can get from Dollar Tree. And this is like the simplest, easiest way to get festive with your napkin. And that's just a cute little napkin ring. I'm gonna show you one more. Okay, this is another one of my favorite ribbons, and this one is a little bit wider. I believe it's two inch ribbon. And you can see there's lace down the middle. And so I've got my napkin ring, and I am going to, again, fold over the edge and put some glue, because I do really want the edges finished, not to look like they could fray, even though Barilla can sometimes fray. And this is one of my favorite ribbons from the Dollar Tree. Really like it. All right, now this looks see-through, right? But when you put your napkin ring behind the lace, you really can't see it. I mean, not really. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put glue here and hold it down. And I want my lace centered on the napkin ring. And then I'm gonna glue it around real quickly. I want you to know that this is like one of the easiest, super easiest ways to make a napkin ring and make it festive for your fall table. Okay, so once you've uh, sealed your edge of your napkin ring, just put your glue down and try to make it as even as possible. Okay, so I finished. I'm gonna show you. This is with the orange plaid ribbon with just the sunflower. And these two are with the burlap ribbon with just the sunflower. And then I did a little more like with this one and this one I added some leaves from a spray from the Dollar Tree and just put something on top of it just to give it a focal point. So this, these are things that I had on hand, but you can buy anything at the Dollar Tree and do that. These are two that are a little bit more elaborate that you can see. And then I played with some different felt pumpkins and leaves and some beads from a spray. And you can see that this is from a, a burlap that I used Mod Podge and put it around a toilet paper ring and created my own napkin ring. And you could do that as well, which is really fun. And I have a video on that and I will link it below. But I just wanted you to see, it's really easy and simple to create an inexpensive yet festive napkin ring for your table. And it just looks so cute. And I hope you enjoyed this DIY. It's super easy, super fast, and really cost effective, less than $3, I imagine. And if you had any supplies on hand, then you could, you know, just go to town. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this quick and easy and inexpensive DIY. Until next time, bye-bye.